Hi, I'm Dave, Director of Product at Notable, where we're building the most collaborative notebook platform that puts your whole team, from data science, analysts, and engineering, to marketing and sales, on the same page to work on data together in a single platform. For this demo, I'm going to showcase our no-code visualization capabilities, which we call Data Explorer, or DEX for short. DEX has the largest library of built-in visualizations, which makes it easy for users of all levels to turn their data into stories. Let's dig in. Notable is a notebook platform that's built on top of the Jupyter protocols. So if you're familiar with Jupyter, you'll know you can have a notebook made up of markdown cells, like the text you're seeing here, or code cells. In this case, Python, although Notable also supports R. I'm gonna walk through an example here of using Notable to analyze a CSV file that I've uploaded locally, although you also can connect to external data warehouses like Google BigQuery, Snowflake, and Databricks, and I'll show an example of that here as well. A very common use case is you'll want to create a visualization to help you make sense and understand the data. In this case, we created a visualization using the Python library Plotly, but I wanna walk through the no-code visualization capabilities of Data Explorer, which allows you to create rich visualizations of a wide variety of types easily without using any code. So one of the first things you'll see about Data Explorer is that you're given this rich table view, which easily gives you the ability to do simple things like sort and filter the data. But even more important than that, Data Explorer is this rich visualization explorer that allows you to look at a variety of different visualization types that may help you make sense of the data, from various distribution charts, like these summary charts, to these comparison charts, like a scatter plot, to time series charts, relationship charts, network charts, funnel charts, all the way through to rich mapping charts to include tile map visualization. So I can go out here in the mapping view, I can click the tile point map. In this case, because it's geospatial data, I can actually go in and zoom in and look at that data, all created easily by clicking through this no-code visualization GUI. In addition to making it easy to create visualizations, Dex actually enables you to collaborate and communicate around visualizations as well. So as an example, if I'm looking at this simple visualization like this, and I notice something interesting in the data, can actually go in here and now leave a comment on that data point and say this is interesting. And that comment is now actually attached to that data point. If I look at different visualizations where that same data point still appears, like these different dot plots or these different styles of bar charts, that same comment is attached to it. And now going further, if I want to actually communicate that information out in the visualization, I can do things like create an annotation on this visualization. So I can say, look at what happened here. Right. And just like that comment, now that annotation is attached to that data point, and we'll see that looking at different visualizations where that same data point appears. And this helps in more of the kind of explanatory style of the workflow, where maybe I want to switch this visualization to the simple presentation mode to give the clean view of the, of the visualization inside that notebook, and now it has that annotation attached to it. Dex can also help you make sense out of data that is returned by queries to external data warehouses. So in the notebook here, I have a SQL cell that's doing a query to Google BigQuery, and we support external data connections to data warehouses like Databricks, Snowflake, and many others. And again, the power of DEX is that it gives you this rich visualization explorer to look at a wide variety of different visualization types that may, have, may help you make sense of the data. You can even do some powerful things like do conditional formatting on the data. So I'll go in here, and I'll format it this way. And now we can easily see patterns in that data. And just like we saw before, we can even go further and actually create comments on the data, ask questions about it. So what happened here? And now I can have these conversations around the data with my coworkers who are also active on this notebook. Hope you enjoyed the demo. If you want to dig in further or get access to our beta, just simply sign up on our website or email me at dave at notable.io. Thanks.